Hello and welcome to Newsroom. I'm your host, Chris, with the Curlcast. And today, we have kind of a historical video. Something that I haven't seen covered by any other channel. So, uh, here we go. Make sure you guys comment down below, like, and subscribe. And uh, here we go. Found this database on a website called iamerror.gamehacking.org. Um, and I found, and the reason why I found it was um, I've been recently getting these notifications on uh, Reddit for collectors where they keep posting these SNES carts with an upside down label. And I thought, oh, that's got to be like fake or whatever. But I've kind of verified that these upside down labels are absolutely 100% authentic. And this website has a database uh, filled with them, like the authentic upside down labels that were uh, mismanufactured, misprinted. And there's apparently 27 ish. That's what I counted so far. Super Nintendo games that have an upside down label printed that way in manufacturing. There's a version of Battle Clash. That's it right there. Another one is Bill Walsh College Football. Brain Lord. Breath of Fire, apparently. Another one is uh, Brunswick World of Champions. Yep, and then uh, Burn-In Test Cartridge. This is like one of those official Nintendo cartridges specifically for doing testing. Castlevania 4. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh, Draken. Earth Defense Force. Uh, F Zero. Man, there's a lot of upside down carts. Family Feud. Some game called Gods. Jurassic Park. That's a cool one. I like that one. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Mortal Kombat. Out of this world. Sim City. The actual SNES system eject button have a double print. I haven't seen that one before. Let's see another one. Um, Street Fighter 2. Super Battleship. Super Empire Strikes Back. Super Mario RPG. This is specifically the Japanese version, I believe. Super Mario World. I guess that's a mirrored Nintendo seal. Although, here we go. Gold is misaligned on that one. Super Metroid has an upside down label version. Super Metroid, nope, not that one. Uh, Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. And then the last one, Wing Commander. So yeah, about around 25 to 30 carts officially printed retail upside down labels. I'm not sure if that makes them worth more or less. But uh, comment down below what you guys think. Have you ever had a game that had a weird printing error or just something that was off, but it was authentic? And you're like trying to be like, hey, man, I got this custom unique piece of uh, history here in my collection where, you know, I've got something weird one off or whatever. Comment down below. What unique item do you have that was actually a retail released item, an official one? And I uh, hope to hear what you guys think. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.